<clears throat> Hi, my name is Upsna and today I wanted to talk about why and how this channel turned into an ASMR channel. Today I wanted to sit down and talk about like what this channel is and how it evolved into what it has evolved into within the last few months and I also wanted to play with some new makeup products as well and uh, just do a talking video just to kind of explain things I guess. So if you guys don't mind there will be f a few ASMR sounds and mostly me talking. Um, if you are interested go ahead and watch that. If not you can totally just exit out and watch one of the other ASMR videos. So um, let's begin. So the first new thing that I got uh, bought is a new mic. I needed to buy a new mic because the old one was sounding extremely scratchy and very, very dry. So I did this. I wanted to test out what the differences was in between the two. So uh, first thing let's test out is how the mic sound different. So this is the new mic and now I'm going to plug in the old mic to test how that sounds. Okay, so this is the older mic and I just tested it really quickly to see and the, it just, it doesn't sound as like, um, smooth versus like the new mic sounds a little bit smooth. This one sounds a little bit more, I don't know, not loud, but just like dry kind of scratch. So anyway, um, new mic and now I'm going to, I'm going to plug in the new mic and we can talk about, um, how this all started. So the first thing that I wanted to start with was, um, doing my skin and I wanted to try out these new little, do you see these? These are like new little sponges that go on your fingers and you can tap them onto the skin, which I thought was so cool and cute. Um, and then I wanted to talk about how this actually started. How cute are these? Okay. Okay, so like back in November of 2020, right after Halloween had ended, like actually wait, a little before Halloween had ended, I made this really, really dumb video. So right at the end of Halloween, I did this uh, last look on Halloween, which was fully rhinestone. So it was my face fully rhinestoned. Uh, the concept of it was really cool, but as with a lot of the stuff that I do, the <laughs> execution of it was not the best. It just kind of turned out to be a mess. And that was my fault because I kind of waited um, to do it when I, I, like I didn't give myself enough time and I kind of rushed to get it done, which is again, something that I really do a lot. And so <laughs> the, the look itself, as a final look was okay, but it looked like really, really bad. I'll show you here. Okay, so I'm not going to play the sound because it really is very cringy for me, but this was the video. It was, <laughs> it was, um, you know, doing this full rhinestone face and I was doing that audio from uh, Ali and AJ, the potential breakup song. And it was like, every time you turned on, it was, it took too long, it took too long. And um, my idea was that every time I would turn around, there would be more rhinestones on my face and it would be like, it took too long, rhinestones turn. And then it took too long, more rhinestones and like all that complete, right? It was a mess. It was really, really bad. I hated the way that it looked, especially on camera. The transitions were the worst things I had ever seen. Um, they, it was so bad. It was like one, one frame would be here and then the other frame would be like up here. And then the other frame would be like off to the side. And it just, it was really bad. And I couldn't even fix it in editing. Like it, it was not very, very good. Um, also, I cannot talk and do my makeup, so if this turns out to be a mess, you will see why I don't talk as much. Anyway, so I was like, this is awful. I am not going to attach the song that goes on with this because, my God, that is so, so bad. So what I decided to do... Whoa, hold on. What am I doing with the mic? So it was really, really bad, and I couldn't, like, I couldn't post it with the actual audio that went on there, because I'm like, if anybody finds this, they're just going to be like, what 
is this? No. So I didn't post it with the audio. Um, I decided just to post it as is, like no actual like music attached to it, just the video. And the worst part, in my opinion, was the parts where I was whispering. It took too long. I was like, this, this is how it sounded. Like it was, it took too long. It took too long. It was so bad. Like it was so, so, so bad. So I thought, you know what? Um, maybe somebody will get a laugh out of it. At that point, I got maybe 100 to maybe 200 views. So I was like, maybe somebody will see it and get a laugh out of it. Most people will probably be like, what is this? And ignore it. But you know, whatever, I made this. Let me share it out to the world. I don't know why. So I shared it out to the world and it, um, or initially, like when I first uploaded it, I don't think it did like horribly or better than any other videos that I had done before. It was just normal. It was normal. People were just like, huh? And like nobody commented on or anything. Um, overnight, it ended up getting a lot of views. And when I mean a lot, I'm talking about, I think it was like half a million views or something crazy like that. And I'm like, oh, um, that is a lot more than I thought this would get. Like why, why this video out of all the videos that I've done, did this one have to be the one that ends up getting a lot of views? Why? You know, I was kind of just in denial, if anything. I was like, oh God. And um, people did enjoy it. They thought it was funny. Um, but a lot of people, to my surprise, and I'm still kind of shocked because if you've seen this video, um, I, I think it's awful. But people were like, this is so relaxing. And I'm like, what is relaxing about this? This is a mess visually and it's a mess audio audio Lee audio wise like this is just a mess what do you people like about this with so many people liked it some a large portion thought it was funny a large portion thought it was weird but a large portion found it relaxing and I'm like what <laughs> it was very 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 odd real quickly I'm using the uh it cosmetics bye bye under eye cream this one's like super full coverage and I am shocked at how much a little bit goes like a really, really, really long way. So that video went up. I thought everybody would hate it. A lot of people ended up finding it relaxing. Some people did actually hate it, um, but it wasn't something that I thought would do well and did not expect it to get as many views and as many likes as it did. So a lot of people started, to, uh, started asking me, can you make videos with just your voice. I find it very soothing. And I was like, ah, I don't like talking and doing makeup. That's why I don't do as much of it on my channel because I cannot multitask to save my life. So what I'll end up doing is I'll either, I'll either, I'll either just keep talking as I'm doing one step or I'll just do makeup and forget to talk. I don't know, I don't have that skill. I'm not like Bailey Sarian who can just tell you a whole story at the same time that she is doing her makeup. That is some kind of skill that I just do not have. So I was like, okay, so I guess what I'll do is I'll start doing voiceovers. So I started doing voiceovers. And while I was doing the voiceovers, one of the videos that I did was including the sound of makeup. And I'll show you, I believe it was, it was a cushion puff. It wasn't this exact one, but it was a cushion puff and I went like this to start the video. Oh, that was not a very satisfactory noise, but whatever. Um, so I did this and I did a little pat pat pats and I just kept the noise in of me doing the makeup as I did the voiceover because I thought, hey, you know, that'll be something different. I know that um, some people put music. I don't want to put music in the background and I feel like it's kind of awkward with just me speaking so I'll do the sounds of makeup so it won't be that awkward oh my god did that open up whole thing that I was not ready for once I did that people started asking me to do more and more of the makeup sounds and I was like what and they kept calling it ASMR makeup oh my god that's ASMR makeup oh my god that's ASMR makeup can you do an ASMR makeup video and I'm like what is an ASMR makeup video? So in the beginning, all I did was instead of adding the voiceover to that first video, I re-uploaded that video without the voiceover. And oh my gosh, so many people loved it and kept asking me to do more and more. So I was like, huh? 
this is something people are interested in okay that's kind of weird um why do people like this that was my first like reaction was why do people like this um and i was like okay so i did like one maybe two and that was it i was not thinking of doing more than that i was like okay so like the few people who asked i gave them the videos and the content that they wanted now i'm gonna move forward and do something else um so i kind of <laughs> I kind of went on a break, right? So I had a bunch of people, I not a not a lot of people, but I had a few people, you know, that were genuinely interested in that kind of content and the ASMR sounds. And I just completely ghosted everyone and just like went off line for like three weeks, like just living my life. And in the meantime, I went back and people were like, are you okay? Where are you? And I was like, oh, I've never had that. I've never had people wanting me to like post content. So I was like, okay, well, all right. So for my next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of those voiceovers, you know, the, uh, the thing on TikTok where you can do text to speech. So I was like, oh, I'll do a text to speech and I'll do like really quick sounds of like the makeup and the voice to speech. Cause I don't feel like talking and I'm sure people are sick of listening to my voice. So I decided to do that. And <laughs> again, so many people were like, can you please post it? without the talking, I just want to hear the sounds. And I was like, again, again, people like this? Like what? I think we're good with the base. I'm gonna move in with the eyes really quickly. Um, my mom got me, <laughs> my mom, as you guys know from the video, she got me this um, and the shade is called Gigolo. Like American Gigolo is the only thing that's coming to mind. I don't know if it's supposed to be like, Gigolo. It's probably like Gigolo, right? Because Tom Ford is Italian, I think. Like the brand is Italian. Oh, it's made in Canada. UK, New York. Okay, I don't know. I don't even know. But, um. Whew. So I was like, okay, so people want more of the makeup noises. Like that's that was in my head. And at that point, that video, the second one that I posted um without the text to speech so i did the same thing when they asked for the asmr sounds i was like okay so i posted the video without the text to speech and it just got so many views and i was like what what why um and people really 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 liked it and i was like okay um this is odd i did not expect people to like this i just thought a few people wanted to see it i didn't think more than a few people would ever want to see it um so like why do people want to see more of this like the, i was just more than anything i was just really confused i'm also like missing a brush right now that i can't find so that's annoying oh I just dropped like 20 brushes. Great. Great. Hold on. All right, we're back. We're good to go again. So people were wanting more and more of the ASMR sounds. And I was like, what is going on? And that video, I think, was the one that ended up getting the most views and likes out of like the ASMR noise videos that I had uploaded. So I was like, okay, so this is a thing and people like it. I don't know what I feel about it yet. Like I was not sure. I am not an ASMR person myself, really. Wait. <laughs> well, I wasn't an ASMR person. I feel like I am so much now because I just want to always share the sounds of things now, which is weird. Hmm. This is kind of a nice base. Um, anyway, so I was like, okay, so like people really like the sound of ASMR beauty. All right, well, you know, it's not that difficult for me to do, but like I am not the biggest ASMR person. I didn't know, right? I did not know that ASMR could be done in makeup. I thought ASMR was all the whispering that people did, you know? Like I really did think that it was only the whispering and mostly I associated it. Sorry, I got, what the heck? I associated it with um, the, what do you call it? I associated it with eating mostly. I feel like that's where I had seen ASMR the most was like eating or like even cooking, but I didn't think of makeup as ASMR, even though I knew about makeup sounds, obviously, right? Because I do my makeup. So I knew about the sounds of uh, like putting on eyeshadow and 
putting on a concealer not concealer putting on foundation and using a sponge i know the sounds of that so like I, that's something that i knew because i've been doing my makeup right for a while but i just didn't think of it as asmr ever um and then people kept asking me i want asmr i want asmr and i was like okay i guess this is a thing um at the same time i had a lot of people be like i hate this this is the most unsatisfying thing ever so i had so many people be like i hate this i don't like it. well I, would, I don't know if it was so many but there was a few portion a few people who did not like it and wanted me to not do it ever again and had decided that they absolutely hated me which was very odd to me because i was like huh I, d I didn't think I had done anything to make people hate me, but I was like, okay. So I was like, yeah, do I, do I want to do this? I mean, clearly, um, it's, it's not something that I'm like super passionate about. Um, and it's something that annoys people because after the influx of positive comments, there was a lot of negative comments and it was like certain videos would do fine but then some videos would get so much negative comments and i lived in my little bubble i didn't really get negative comments i didn't really get many comments to be honest so i was just like and my belief has always been like if your stuff is only liked between a core small group and not by the entire world maybe you're doing something wrong and you're just not seeing it um so i was just like okay you know, maybe, maybe I don't do this. Um, maybe I go back to doing something else. But as I was thinking that, I started getting all of these messages and all of these comments about people really enjoying my content and like it really actually helping them. What are you talking about? This is helping people? Um, that's that's really cool. I never thought that anything that I would do would help people. So I started getting all of these really nice like comments like your videos have really helped me. They really help me relax. I think of your videos as free therapy and I really, really like it. I really like the sounds that you make. A lot of people don't do this kind of the way that you do it. So I really appreciate that. And like people were like, I just, I was feeling so stressed. I saw your video and I felt better. And I was like, what? I can have a positive influence on someone's day. What? Because at that point, like I had had a few people who liked it, a few people who hated it, and then I didn't really think much of it. Um, but like when people started coming forward and saying that they really liked it and that it really helped them like de-stress, relax, just distract them from the day, I was like, whoa that is that is pretty cool that's now that's something that's pretty cool so one of the things that i always thought about is if i could somehow bring positivity and be a positive influence um have a positive impact make someone feel better just change someone's mind or their day or give them something of value that made them happier that is going to be my goal as a content creator and when people started saying that to me i was like wait that is pretty special i think that is amazing that i can help anyone have a better day if i can help anyone de-stress it's very stressful these days um so if i can help anyone de-stress that's amazing and you know what doing this content is not really that difficult for me so if it's helping people it's easy for me to do and it's easy for me to like edit and stuff then why don't i just pursue this as like a side thing like just do a few videos that are asmr because it's really been helping people so that's where i kind of landed you know as a content creator that was one of my goals always to be a positive impact on someone to make them feel better to maybe even distract them so i i, I said to myself if my content is making someone happier is making someone less stressed or even for the people that hate it, if it's distracting them in any way from other more problematic things in life, I'm fine with being hated on for a little bit, you know, for a few seconds in life, just so that they could even get a distraction. So that's when I decided I really actually want to move forward and do this. Okay, sorry, I had to go and do my eyes really quickly because I definitely cannot speak and do my eyes. I'll leave the inspo up here. Um, but uh, so yeah, so at that point, I realized that people are actually you know, enjoying this content and they, that was really strong. And they are 
getting some benefit from it. Oh my God, that is so strong. Why do I always do this with blush? Um, so I decided like, okay, you know what? If that is happening, then then okay, then I can do this thing. Um, even despite like people not, some people not liking it, it's bringing so much joy, not, not so much joy, sorry, that's dramatic, but it's, you know, bringing a little bit of light to someone's day. And when I mean by light, I mean just like lightness, like a distraction. Um, it's giving someone good vibes. It's, you know, helping someone relax a little bit. So like, you know what, if I can have such a positive impact on someone, let me continue to do so. Now, at the same time, I don't think I'm the, I'm definitely not the best ASM artist, which I guess is what people who do ASMR are, are called. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely not that by a long shot. Um, even though some people say that I am, but I think they're just being really nice. Um, but yeah, I, wait, did I tell you what I was using? I'm using the Jaclyn Cosmetics Cream to Powder Blush Stick um, blush that just came out. And I really like this color. Wow, that is really pretty. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I don't think I'm the best person at ASMR. I'm not, definitely not the best person at makeup by a long shot. So I just thought that like in the meantime, it's a good way since it's helping someone to do this um, and to continue like working on my skills. Now I will say I've been a little boring with my makeup. I've just been doing kind of plain natural looks because I've been really just trying to get the hang of the sound. And sometimes, you know, you, you, you kind of work yourself. That's why I took a little tiny mini break this week just to like figure things out, get some new equipment uh fun fact i actually have the big blue yeti microphone like the super professional one the problem is that one only works with a computer and i cannot directly plug it into my camera what i can do is like plug that microphone into my computer and plug that into my camera it's like a really long setup and frankly I don't have the space for it I have a very limited amount of space that I have down here to work with so maybe in the future if I can get more space or something like that I can work that out um but yeah I know that this also like this mic it's a road mic it might do a good job for a little bit but I'm sure it's not going to be my like mic for years and years to come so you know there's going to be changes and stuff but as long as you know i can continue working on improving the quality give someone the you know some peace of mind in their day help somebody relax a little bit um just be a somewhat positive source of anything for somebody's life i think that is good enough for me um, and I'm happy for the people that have found me and really do get value out of it. And I think, I think that's all I had to say. So that's how I came forward. It was a mistake video that was just awful. People liked my voice. So I started doing no music at all and just my voice. I started doing the sounds of beauty behind it. People loved that. So I decided to do that and then just build on top of that and keep going and going and going. Finally found out that people actually find this somewhat enjoyable, which is still kind of shocking to me at some points. And then the last little bit is how this started here on YouTube. So I was on TikTok and I was doing this thing and people were liking it and I was like, okay, that's cool. I mean, this is fun content, fun, easy content for me to make, right? I don't have to speak. I don't have to try to um, lip sync because I'm very bad at that. I don't have to work extra hard at um, transitions or even um, trying to make effects. So you know what? For the time being, I'm going to do this. And then people started asking me to make a YouTube. And I was like, oh, because I have a YouTube. I just never upload on there. It's just very um, neglected. But people were like, can you please make these longer for YouTube. And I was like, well, you know what? I do film for like 15, 20 minutes and then cut it down to a minute long or 15 seconds long. So I can, I can definitely just not cut it and put it on YouTube. So that's how I started putting these on YouTube. And I just thought like, 
you know, like 20 people are going to watch it or like <laughs> 10 people are going to watch it. Like it's not going to, it's not going to be like a big, huge thing, right? I'll just do this, give some people. And I, again, I just thought I'll do it for a little bit. And then when people are bored of it, I'll kind of stop because I'm sure people will not want to do this for the long haul. But people actually ended up liking it again strange i didn't think that would happen on youtube i know a lot of people comment sometimes and say like oh my god i wish your youtube had more views and more subscribers and i'm like i don't know how to tell you at like this point last year or maybe two years ago i'm not sure i remember i uploaded a video where i worked so 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 super hard on like filming it and editing it and i remember getting 15 views and i was like well whatever i enjoy doing what i doing so 15 views is okay so like for me to get you know higher than 15 views is really a big thing for me um i know youtube is harder to grow on i know that it's not the same um as other platforms especially as tiktok where you can grow a lot faster but you know what that's okay i'm fine with the speed that i'm going um and i'm glad that i can give someone any kind of benefit I'm just gonna do my lip and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, that is a very different lip on me than I've ever done before, but I think I like it. I don't know. Um, makeup is fun. You can experiment and do whatever. And if you don't like it, it's very easy to wipe off and then do something else or do nothing at all. So that's what, that's where I'm at with all the stuff I mess up with. But um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. I don't know how all over the place it will be until I get into editing, but I fear it's gonna be pretty at all, all pretty all over the place because I'm not I really I cannot multitask I can't talk and do makeup I don't know how people do it but um I wouldn't mind I wouldn't be opposed to doing a few talking videos maybe you know like once here or there just talking about like favorite products or like what's up in life or whatever this video I thought would be kind of nice um just because I think a lot of people might have been confused on how I just started doing ASMR makeup and then just keep doing it without any explanation. So I thought I should sit down and talk about it a little bit. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, wow, thank you. Um, and as always, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you all later. Bye.